A principal's office in 2021 assigned no school activity has taken place here since the crisis escalated into an armed conflict. At the SAR SM, like the government high school in under subdivision, office documents are leaked, furniture broken, and machines destroyed. About 90% of administrative services have been abandoned by the respective service heads. They, according to the mayor, blame their absenteeism on the uncertain security climate in the area. A claim, the mayor of Andek debones, asking runaway service heads to either return or resign. The heads of services that have been deployed to serve my people in uh, Andek municipality, in the subdivision, in the large majority, about 99% of them, have abandoned their offices. And the irony is that they are the first people to run around and want to liquidate the uh, projects or the credits that have been sent for them to use here in Andek. But I brief you, I think that they should resign. Normal life has been interrupted in Andek by what is known as the Anglophone crisis. This has left many stranded in their communities. I am so particular about the school sector, school and health sectors, but those are social sectors. And uh, you will not imagine that uh, just yesterday we had two serious cases here, uh, two health serious cases that had to go to Bermuda because of the absence of a medical doctor. The mayor says security has been stepped up and aside the tragic attack on the convoy of the senior divisional officer for Momo on January 5th, no gunshot has been heard in Gi. He also says the town is safe and the fleeing population can now return and regain normal lives in their communities. But those who spoke to Equinox Television on the basis of anonymity say their challenge for now is the road leading to Ngi from Bengui.